At the end of another incredible week of golf on the PGA Tour, Bryson wins again. Bryson DeChambeau indeed has the King's title at Bay Hill. This was another performance that further validated his approach of increasing muscle mass, increasing size, and increasing speed on the course. So today we're gonna to have a look through how you can start to add muscle and add speed in a way that people have not always believed was good for golf. Our integrated approach to these elements is gonna give you an incredible way to train and play like Bryce. <laughs> The first element of our integrated approach is going to be lifting weights. If we want to add muscle mass, if we want to build size, you have to create adaptation and stress within the system so the muscles can rebuild and add that growth. Okay, so we're gonna take elements of fundamental bodybuilding, match them with some golf specific aspects that are going to allow you to put these into your training, create the changes that you want to see and benefit your golf game. Number one is going to be the single arm dumbbell bench press. Now, creating the asymmetry of working on one side of the body only really does help you to create some more core engagement and basically challenges the whole structure of your body to resist rotation. Now, as well as adding the stress to the muscle, to the joint that we're looking for for that adaptation, you're then creating that added benefit for your game. And additionally to this, we're gonna go into a pull movement, which is going to be the single arm dumbbell bent over row. Now here, maintain a neutral spine, get into a really good position before you engage the musculature. Obviously the idea of push-pull is a simple way because the movements are gonna complement each other. And a big thing when you are lifting weights, in terms of your overall performance, is to hit a full range of motion, okay? The shorter the range of motion, the shorter the rep, the more likely you are to tighten the muscle, and that is that traditional idea of what weightlifting means. However, if we can work through the full range, you're gonna see some incredible golf gains. The second phase of this approach is to increase your overall movement capacity. This would be mobility and flexibility, as well as control and muscle activation, which is what we're going to focus on here. So exercise bands are an incredible way to activate the muscle and increase your awareness of the activation through the feedback they can give you. And we're gonna look at a couple of things right here. So number one is going to be the switch stance torso rotation. Okay, so this takes into account speed, balance and positioning whilst bringing in that rotational capacity. Okay, so once you have stabilized the feet, you're gonna really turn the body against that lower half. The resistance of the band is gonna engage all of the musculature and activate the core whilst we go through that rotational aspect. Okay, this is a great way to practice your overall motion and it transfers directly to your goal swing. Also with the exercise bands, we can create additional end range function, basically that range of motion and that muscular, muscular activation through using traditional lifts but with the exercise bands, okay? We add the asymmetry in here and we see some really cool golf games. Things like the lat pull down, the bicep curl, the tricep extension, and the banded face pull can all get into the musculature you need to create really powerful, stable, and optimal movement pan throughout your whole body. The final aspect we are looking at today is speed and performance. If you want to swing the club faster, you've got to swing the club faster. And priming your body, working yourself on those neurological capacities to take that speed, take that power to the next level is a huge thing that Bryson has talked about and implemented in his game. One simple way of doing this is the med ball slam. And today we have the rebounding rotational slams, which just mean that you're going to create really strong core extremely powerful rotational pans and get a really good workout too. You want that intensity, you want to tell the system, tell the body that you're looking for adaptation and you're looking to take it to the next level. The other side, 
when you get the chance, whether you do it in-house or at a different time, is to practice swinging fast. You need to take your body through the golf swing, understand the kinematics, the body positions, and the ground forces required to smoke it, to hit it as hard as you can. You've seen Bryson on the tee, he gets fired up, he gets the body going, he's very active to the ground, and then he turns as hard as he can, creating his maximum amount of separation whilst using the ground, going up in the swing, going down to the ground, and then firing with everything that he has. So, swing fast. Practice swinging fast, okay? And there are certain elements that I would look for here. Again, that would be the ground force reactions, meaning that when you turn into the backswing, we're gonna fully load that trail side, pressing into the ground, engaging the glute, get nice and tall in the backswing, and then squat. Squat into that downswing, okay? Because the pressure going down is gonna mean that we can use the ground to push back up. We add the vertical forces to the rotational forces, and you can get some real speed, that snap speed into the club head to hit it further than ever before, guys, all right? So all of the training is gonna add up to the ability for your body to move faster, to be more stable doing so, and allow you to create those golf gains.